just loading up the old copy here. This sound oh god, for Welcome honestly, honestly, with, honestly, with some of these sound effects, it almost makes me think, oh god, is my computer resetting? No, no. Welcome everybody to a very interesting game that I believe it was uh, Halloween 4545 who showed this game off to me a long time ago. Okay, not to me personally, but it was like a video series showing it off. This is a game that I came across called Duskers, which is a text-based, uh, like kind of like a text-based computer controlling horror game, huh. in the sense of more definitely more in suspense. So uh, I'm going to try to explain the controls as best as I can. So pressing one, pressing the number keys one and two uh, up to I believe three is the max, allows me to swap between these uh, drones, and then from there. They operate under tank controls with WASD, mm -hmm. and in the lower right, I'm ty I'm typing open A one to open the airlock one door. Does and it ever, there, does it I ever can... work if you ever type in open sesame? No, I think it'll just get I think it'll just get coy with me. So uh, now I found a generator, which is why drone number two in the upper left, as you see, has the ability generator. So I've typed in generator. So now. Uh, this tutorial is basically showing off like there. Now I can see the rooms that have been powered up. Once these rooms are powered, I can turn, I can open and close their doors at will. Uh, that's why. But unfortunately, they're only powered as so long as Drone Two remains at the generator, which is why I'm now using the lower right to tell Drone One. I can I can also I can also type commands to have the drones move around the place remotely. I don't have to pilot them all hand to one to one. Any use? <laughs> Sorry, kind of a big like lot of motion real quick there I sincerely apologize so what the actual objective of this game is that we are playing a a spaceman who has been stranded out in space and is trying to find some semblance of life or find his way back home or something like that and our only chance uh oh so I've used the motion scan and that red stuff means that that is a very bad evil thing inside that room that will probably kill me or sorry kill the drones so I'm going to get number one away from there <laughs> get away before get away get away. yeah get away and spare your life and spare your life so my only main like my only main way to maybe make this work is I'm going to close door four on the center left there so I don't accidentally get myself killed I'm going to open door 5 and hope that the evil thing will decide, oh, I'll go into room 3. Then quickly close door 5, and now it's trapped. And that's, like, that's, that's our main thing. You can get weapons and stuff to fight these things, but it's better just to avoid them. Sorry, better get back to the game idea here. It's kind of a survival roguelike game. So if I die or if I have to reset, it's a hard reset. I have to do everything all over again. Ah, uh, so it's not, not much different than, say, the Necrodancer. Kind of. All of my tools and stuff have a limited use, which is why I need to, like, be very cautious with them and make repairs. Make repairs, sorry. There, um, lure, that seems like a neat thing. I don't care. Let's put it on Sarah. Why not? So, long, so that's me just, I can take over. So that's, our, sorry, sorry. So that's kind of what we're doing here is the reason, uh, the whole main point of the game is we are navigating to various like derelict ships and or ship crashes sending our drones in gathering whatever supplies we can like use to keep our ship running and take us to as far as we can and hope to not lose any resources in the process such as drones and bad things happening uh sounds like hype, what do you oh sorry go ahead i was just gonna say no pressure yeah so hype what do you think of this that was just the tutorial stage by the way what is that so how does that concept and stuff look to you so far hype Eh. That is fair. <laughs> this game is only this game is only available on PC and Steam because you know the whole typing interface and stuff. Right. I can't imagine you having to do all this from a Switch. No. I. I. I if there was a way to make it, maybe maybe there could be like a, a command like menu thing you can select from, but or or yeah, so. or keyboard peripherals you could just stick on there. Initiate emergency distress sequence. We found four vessels. None of them sent back a response. They're probably all dead. So it's up to us to go and scavenge. And pray and pray that we don't end up dead ourselves. Yeah. There's a lot of, like, story. And you can learn lore by finding things. But basically some corruption or some wave of, like, evil has been, like, sweeping across the star systems. And it's up to us to navigate in a weird command keyboard 
thing. So we're at this spaceship, and I am going to... There's our huge universe. There's a lot of traveling around to do, but everything takes... First off, jumping from one star system to another requires a specific kind of fuel, jump fuel. Uh, propelling myself from one ship to another in a star system takes its own propulsion fuel. There is a lot. I'm going to rename these things to make it somewhat more personalized. Uh, okay. That's it. Don't let us down. I, I make no promises, Captain Lucky. Cool. And I know, be hype. Yay. We're all set. Hang on. No, we Look ain't at that height. You're a droid. Uh, God damn it. I had to. There we go. Because I'm lucky. I'm the captain. Hey, Captain Snruff. We can upgrade our ship with components. We can use this menu here to spend whatever scrap we can to either heal, repair, or add new abilities to our drones to make them a nice, lean, mean fighting team to take out any and all threats we find. But. Our main goal is to try to avoid threats and grab as much crap as we can. Uh, so this is going to be kind of a bit of it. Let's just kind of change topics, maybe. Hi, do you have any sort of opinion on the roguelike genre in and of itself? Like, those games where, like, you get really one shot, and if it messes up and fails, you kind of send it right back to square one? Well, the closest thing to rogues I've ever really played was Toe Jam and Earl. That is fair, actually. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, because it's all randomized. Okay, that's fair. So... I, I I do like the idea I, I do I have liked the idea of stuff like in say um, Rogue Legacy or you know Crypto Necrodancer or Binding of Isaac where I like the idea of like you are like you start gradually getting better with each run. Stuff like other games like this or um, the kind of games where it's just a hard reset and you don't really get a shot to like you don't really get a chance to like really improve with just it's more like you don't get any cool upgrades it's more so you just try to learn and roll the dice and hope for the best of it i've never really been a fan of those kind of games just because i like i like to have some semblance of progress at all times yeah which is also sort of the Let's reason why i'm a little on and off when it comes to roguelikes in general because a lot of them tend to skew towards um, bending the ru rules against you sometimes. Or so oh, absolutely. Honestly, it's really just the luck of the draw if you're going to get a fairly decent run where you make steady amounts of progress or they just front load you with a whole lot of crap. Such as this game at times. Mm -hmm. But I think I feel like this game is a very... Okay, this game is probably not a very good, like, active, like, oh my gosh, like, on the edge of your seats the whole time. I don't even know if it's that interesting to watch sometimes. But while I was playing it, I did think it was a very chill kind of experience where this game definitely rewards taking your time and playing it safe and slow to make sure you get everything as best as you can without you know because if you like because odds are if you just go charging straight ahead opening every door you find you're gonna find a nasty on the other end what kind of nasty is there, can we expect in this game uh, in my experience there are these weird like for, well, i mean for the most part I mean, I guess it should be said, death isn't like some terrifying thing because we're again we're a freaking we're a robot drone. It's not like these are it's not like these are people. But um, okay, motion. Okay, cool. Actually, oh, it looks pretty safe. Yeah, I mean to be, I mean they're they're robots. They don't have souls. That's right. <laughs> oh god, now I'm just now I'm just now I just want someone to mod this game where so as opposed to the little sound effects you hear, someone like mods in or and Cubot's voices and Eggman as the drones running around and Eggman because why not. <laughs> They've you know done what? it for XCOM. They could do it for this. You know what? Wait, for real? Wait what? The, in, yeah, in XCOM, in, in, in XCOM too, you can like mod in like voices for the soldiers and stuff. Oh my god, mm -hmm. it's a whole thing. Well, what I had in mind was that for some reason I had this idea of taking taking the co-op campaign from Portal Two, only replace Atlas and Peabody with Orbot and Cubot, and Glados is snarking with Eggman snarking. I would love that. <laughs> I, I, no, don't, don't even don't even make it. Don't even make a portal mod. Just make that its own game, and I would love that. <laughs> make that make that Eggman's Mean Bean Machine too. Yes. Come on, Sega, you cowards, go for it. Well, the, they are aware of its existence, uh, and the, I know that they referenced it at least once or twice in the Twitter takeovers. They meant they referenced it in Sonic Mania. Yeah, that, that was only the second boss. I mean, granted, I mean, granted, we always say that we want a Mean Bean Machine 2. To be fair, the franchise is still long and going. They just go by a diff completely different name that it's yeah. always been in Japan. Fair, fair. Although, I mean, although Kirby Avalanche was weird and wacky, too. Yeah, that was its own thing. 
Wasn't there a Yoshi variant of Puyo Puyo? No, there was say. a Yoshi variant of panel of a uh, panel Dipon though. Uh, oh right! Oh yeah, the Tetris attack thing. Yeah, which again is very, inf very infamous for not having anything to do with Tetris, yet they use the name anyway. And I think someone in Nintendo staff would re greatly regret regret that. Okay, do not go into that room. I don't know what yellow stands for. I'm always worried. Probably about just that. mean. I, I assume it probably means that there might be something you want to watch out for. But I know red is definitely do not go anywhere near there. Bad things will happen. So let's go over here. Um, let's go over here instead. Um, okay, there's a generator. Okay, maybe that's what the motion scan was picking up. Okay, yellow mm -hmm. means, okay, interesting stuff to interact with. Anyway, um, we were, talking, we were mentioning something, we mentioned the drones. Yeah, okay, so the things we can find, I've, in my experiences, I've come across everything from a corrupted, like, a corrupted little drone itself that would, like, fire a machine gun at me if I got too close and I don't want to get shot. I've seen these weird, like, creature things that walk around, and the idea is that static, the, uh, the uh if i see static of any sort that means like the creatures of like emp like pulse or whatever is affecting the monitor it's like it so again there's okay here's a turret i'm gonna keep that in mind because i'm sure i could probably use this to my advantage later and then watch how you it, doing watches it automatically shoots me how are you doing baby oh, i see how it is <laughs> you don't need one any of this automatic pleasures you missed. You just. You just missed out on this. You just missed out. Sorry, I was thinking. And Hyde, of, co Hyde comes in thinking he can woo the lady. Okay, I'm gonna tow this piece of equipment back to the, uh, back to the ship. To the ship because this may be nice. Okay. Also, I was just thinking of. Okay. Also, I was just so, thinking so, of. Wait, China. wait, wait. Let me get. So let me get this straight. I'm the one that pretty much does does all the reconnaissance. Hype is the hype is pretty much the one that that drags all the heavy bags, and you're just the one just sitting there drinking your coffee. I'm the one that's sitting there with my finger on the light switch. Otherwise, you all can't see nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm like, I, I'm just standing there. Just, I'm just standing there with my finger against the wall. This is very important work. So what you're seeing is we're w watching the pre-alpha of uh, the scare scraper mode. Yes, I cannot wait for that. Oh, we can talk Me about either. that. I'm it, speaking of speaking of like horror, like multiplayer. Thing, this isn't multiplayer, but speaking of horror, like co cooperative things. Okay, get in there. Thank you. Uh, cooperative experiences. I'm very much excited to see what Scarescraper will be. I'm hoping it's stable. I, I the don't 3DS, think... The th 3DS Scarescraper was fairly stable for me. Um, yeah, it was whenever I was playing it. It's like, I know a lot of people despise it's any like reminder that Dark Moon existed, but I am glad that they brought that back. Oh, yeah. I'm. I, it's gonna be great on Switch, I think. Okay, let's turn on... Let's do a ship scan. Okay, found some new items we can grab. Cool. Just like to remind the let's... folks that he's completely exaggerating. Dark Moon, I mean... Dark Moon has never been considered a bad game. It's just whether you like it like it better or worse than the original, that's really all there is to it. Okay, here's all the other rooms. Oh, goodness, there's a lot of rooms. This will probably be, after I finish off the ship, that'll probably be where we stop the uh, look at. But for now, let's turn on the defense systems, because the turret will then activate and probably take out that evil threat. Well, it all, the... could, it also take, could it also take out us? Spoilers, yes. I learned that the hard way for a second. <laughs> okay... Wonder what that was. I'm just gonna grab. Oh, oh geez. Uh, th don't worry. It's not gonna kill me. But that's just the evil thingy on the other side of the door as it's trying to affect me. I feel. Okay. I look at. I just look at these graphics, and I and I feel like you like your drone could easily fit inside that nozzle, and then you just immediately get jettisoned out into space. Oh jeez. No, that can actually happen in some cases. Wait, like really? Astro I I was once in a situation where. Oh, the, uh, move your butt. Thank you. I've yeah, been in a situation. I've I been. I've been in a situation where uh, an asteroid hit the ship I was exploring in, and it like opened up a vacuum, oh. and like one of the drones got thrown at. It, it throws some stuff at you, and again, it's this weird minimalistic like view that is kind of interesting. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what and just thing? okay, that was that was because I moved too far far away from the generator. See, I uh. it's an important work keeping my finger on <laughs> that power switch. Oh. Let's go over to this other generator instead. Right here we'll do. Um, see, I'm hoping for good things with Scarescraper. I remember it's usually randomized, but again, could could make for some fun videos and stuff. Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, the different uh -oh. raids and stuff they had. Oh, uh, actually, if we're gonna be talking about multiplayer stuff, one that I'm looking forward to, and I'm honestly kind of surprised that we didn't see it anywhere at E3 this year. Um, I'm looking forward to when we eventually do Castle Crashers. Uh, oh, Castle Crashers. Oh, that's Crashers. right. Is that on Switch yet? Not, Not yet. yet. Okay, if it, yeah, and I, 
I wouldn't. Would that be a game that we would want to do a full commentary of? I, I know think it, it is. I think you guys already brought. I think you guys already brought up that you wanted to do that, like between you, hype, uh, Matt, Matt and Nikki. Nikki. Yeah, and James oh, okay. would just be the one riffing on how bad we suck at the game. Fair Pretty enough. much. Or just, or just making, or just, or just um, making mention to the fact that we we literally see de deers um, rock, uh, with ship propulsion. Yeah, so it, it's an odd good. game, but it's it's a gem of an odd game. A gem, yeah. a gem of its time. Yeah, with regards to all the abilities and stuff I get, it's really kind of odd. We're like. So, like, everything has a, a, a use. Like, you see there on my upper right, I have motion scanning, 45 out of 50, mine have 4 to 4. And it's this odd thing of not only do you have usage uses for it, but get this. Every time I use a skill, even something like gather or generator or interface, the more I use them, the more sort of worn down they get, and thus the more likely they have to fail. Mm. Like it could like like if I wanted to say keep this old gather skill on James for long enough, it could reach a point where oh now the gather skill will only work a quarter of the time. Oh well. Then until uh, yeah, unless I uh, unless I go and like buy but but once I unless I fix a, unless I fix up a new one then it will work again. So again, there's a lot of. I feel like that's why so I made. What you're telling me here is that this game literally runs on Breath of the Wild weapon durability logic. Yeah, Ouch. so only this time it's now like life or death. It, it, so, I mean, I get. Okay, Hype will carry that over to the ship. So, that's the odd thing of like, I don't know if I'll ever be able to like truly get into this game just because it's. It, there's so much micromanaging that has to happen, it seems like. Yeah. To like keep track of all of these different skills. Don't use them too often. Uh, make sure to replace them every so often and make sure to keep an eye out for new skills. It's a whole lot of busy work. And just pray to get, and just pray to God the Fredbear won't get you. Oh jeez. Gosh, I yeah, actually yeah, with this whole with this whole camera system right here, it does kind of seem like that, doesn't it? It does. Okay, let's keep moving forward. But yeah, there are various there are various threats. I'm just gonna continue my salvage run and. Don't mind me. Like I'm just guy. I'm just I'm just being the being the lead force trying to look for all this shit for you guys to pick up. But it does. He's. But you're the only one who has the gather skill. It does. But it does get a bit. Fr it does get a little tense, especially when I think it was around the second ship I went into when I saw something that was oh okay. a vent. So a thing that could be used to like have an enemy sneak in. So that's why you have to be very careful. Okay, let's interface with this guy. Oh, I got Oh, it's not powered. So I gotta. Where? Who has the generator? Who has the generator thing? I think it was me. Okay. Drone to go to that room and activate the generator. All right, I'm on it. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna hang out in the corner. This is just gonna be me killing that bad guy with the defense turret. Uh, guys, maybe he'll drop it's something. dark in here. Go. Am I turning on the light? Cool. Defense in room four killed an enemy. Oh, nice. Hey. Let's go check and see how he's doing. Hey, I just wanted to say you did a good job in here. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Defense in room four killed an enemy. Yes. Unfortunately, that enemy was James. Oops. Fuck. We gotta go get him back. Help. He's fortunately he's not dead. Dead. He's just disabled. He's not destroyed. We, we just have to bring him back. Let's turn off the defense system. Hype's like I'm on it. <laughs> I'm here. Uh... Yeah, we're just gonna tow him to safety. Uh, tow. Now I'm just imagining like. I have this image of you just like James is just passed out on the floor. You're just grabbing him by the feet and just dragging him down the hall. Yeah, off he goes. But yeah, so that's about it. There's okay. I should probably get his gather things. So we can grab the stuff that that enemy dropped now that the defense turrets are off. So, so yeah, kind of just getting to the plain and short of it. I think the game is a little. Um, I think the game is a little um, demanding. It's a little demanding. It's de I, I, I can definitely see... Oh, I was just not dragging you. I, de I definitely see there being an audience for this game. I just don't think it would really be my kind of a game all the time. But the concept is... The concept is interesting to be, like, you know, piloting drones. It's like those old NASA simulators of, like, you know, piloting things on the moon. Except, you know, now there are things that can kill you. <laughs> so... I think that I think that it is a, a very interesting concept that can happen. Yeah. So uh, I mean, 
I mean, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna pretend like you guys are like finding this to be the most exciting game to look at either. But I mean, the, I mean, what did you guys think of this little look at? I guess. I mean, I guess if nothing else, it is an interesting little idea here. I just wish it. I, I, my, my only major critique with it is that it kind of doesn't stand out all that much. Yeah, I mean, it will, I, I will say I haven't seen games do this kind of thing before, which is why it stands out enough to me. But yeah, like, like I agree. honestly, would it kill them to have some sort of cute little. AI character pop up to tell you to help you out with uh, <laughs> to inform you on what's going on. This just in: someone's going to mod this game so that as opposed to Eggman and Orbot and Cupid, it's going to be Oma Chow. <laughs> you say that I was actually, I mean, yeah, there's that. I was actually going to say Monica from um, from uh, Nintendo Land. Oh, Monita or whatever. Oh, Monita, that's a Monita. <laughs> oh, I forget that. But yeah, something like that. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say on the matter. All right. So yeah. Uh, and I assume no other, no further comment hype. Eh. That's fair. <laughs> you can right. go back, okay, you can go back to sleep now. So, the, yeah, so, so for those looking for a kind of a, a sort of a more casual, sort of slow, I guess definitely a more slower pace, like a more strategic roguelike game, I think the game definitely could have something for you. For me, personally, it's kind of a hard sell for myself, but I thought it was interesting enough to show off here just as a look at, not doing a commentary anytime soon, but... Yeah, thank you all so much for checking out another weird indie game brought to you by me. I'm Lucky Jack Twenty. I'm But Private James May Extreme. Eh. Bye everybody. Till next time, guys. <laughs>